Alright YouTube Nation, what I have for you today is this Smith & Wesson M&P 40 semi-automatic airsoft gun. I got this just to have a little fun, do a little target practice. I live in an urban environment so you can't really go around shooting real guns. I mean I guess you could but you'll get a nice little nice little visit from the the police so I got this here there's a little warning on there and uh, I guess you're able to kind of play with the trigger a little like a toy <laughs> but let's uh, open this up and see what we got inside all right guys this little I gotta say it again little package opener not my uh, Gerber dime this is definitely an EDC man this this little thing goes through these blister packaging like butter like nothing at all so here we got uh, do not dismantle softairusa.com so you can get more info there I guess uh, it's a Smith & Wesson M&P 40 it's got the little orange tip there so that way the police don't shoot at you I mean they thought that even though it's clear that you had a real gun a little trigger lock there it's supposed to have a little more realistic feeling I guess so that way when you're practicing it could feel more like a real gun as far as the clip which is right here the clip holds uh, 15 pellets I'm pretty sure you could put since the BBs are so small you could put more than that but to make it feel realistic I guess the gun only holds 15 so your airsoft gun will only have 15 so you know it's uh, I should probably open this one more than what I did I just didn't want to tear the contents See what else does it come with the little warning it comes with the um, BBs a little Allen wrench How to use this? I guess you need the Allen wrench to insert the CO2. This is my first airsoft gun, so I'm definitely going to be reading that. The USA and Canada. Read it, or can it be like yeah. pretty nice? Probably buy drink some sodas so I can shoot some cans. Let me pause the video real quick. Let me see if I can put in some BBs in the CO2. All right, guys. So that is what this tool is for. You unscrew it, you insert the little CO2 that did not come in the box, but I had bought it anyways when I got the little airsoft pistol. So it is in. I don't have any BBs in there yet. the CO2 so I know I got it I wonder if I tightened it all the way making it kind of a little hissing sound but yeah it's pretty nice probably have some fun with it this weekend but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video found it informative and I look forward to uh, seeing you guys again here soon